Welcome, welcome to the Headless Down with Clownary Bootcamp course. I am Marcelo Lewin, the Headless Creator, and your host throughout this entire bootcamp. As always, get a hold of me right there, Marcelo at headlesscreator.com. In this great interview with Naveen Prasanna, Director of Product Management at Clownary, and a presenter in this bootcamp, you're going to learn all about the various 3D model formats out in the market today and what the future holds. So with that said, let's get Naveen in. Naveen, welcome to the uh, interview here. Glad to have you. Hi, Marcelo. Good to be here. So let's jump in on, on this interview and uh, tell us a little bit about your background. Yeah, um, you know, I started in technology a while ago when I was doing my undergrad and um, I started, uh, you know, working in uh, software. Uh, you know, my, my, my background is as a mechanical engineer, but I kind of got into a, a lot of stuff around software and things like that. And since then, you know, I've been a developer myself and, uh, uh, you know, given my interest in, uh, you know, various, uh, you know, media, media formats and things like that, I, I, you know, I've started working along the way with videos a lot, 3D, of mm -hmm. course. Mm -hmm. and uh, images and so on so right now you know i'm a product manager i try to kind of put technology and uh you know together for, you know just to go solve problems that you know people might have with, uh, with media right right now you said you were a developer so what did you code in when you for when you were developing <laughs> a long time ago um well uh i started doing uh you know stuff mostly in c, c this was right. back in the day and then um, I, I went all the way up to you know Java and some amount of JavaScript, okay. and uh, that is when I actually you know stopped doing stuff. I was doing yeah. few distributed systems and things of that nature, but right. that was about it. Uh, but I do dabble with JavaScript, with Node and Swift and things like that when I when I have a chance. What was your? Did you, did you have a favorite uh, language or? Yo. Know, um, Doing most of what I did with Java, that's you know that's what I kind of gravitate towards, Got and uh, a lot of people might not like this when I say this, but JavaScript is great, but I still you know miss the 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 typing and and uh, right. you know uh, that kind of stuff that you see with Java. Fewer right. mistakes, hopefully, but yeah, it takes longer to. Yeah, but it's definitely a popular language, JavaScript. Sure is. Yeah, sure yeah, is. Yeah, definitely. So uh, switching subjects a little bit, tell us a little bit about you. What, what's your hobby? What's your What do you do for fun? Well, for fun, uh, you know, in between uh, kids and all of that stuff, um, I always like music. I have a very okay. eclectic kind of taste in music. Okay. And uh, I learned a little bit of music when I was a kid as well. So uh, that's something that I So that you play really music? Uh, I used to do vocals. And, oh, vocals. Uh, okay, yeah, so you sing. Yeah. Okay. So I used to sing. I used to sing, but very I, I, nice. I, I don't think I can sing too well. <laughs> do you do, do you go on karaoke and everybody like? Okay, I'm not going after you. <laughs> uh, that that happens when I've had a couple of drinks. <laughs> of course, uh, that's for all of us. Exactly right. Um, so yeah, right. that and uh, you know, uh, I, I I love sports and uh, uh, you know I've started picking up a bit of golf just because oh, okay. a bunch of buddies are doing it. So. So, so you might you know. as well go with them. Excellent. Yeah, totally. So what did, what, uh, I mean, you've done a lot in technology. What made you focus on 3D specifically? What attracted you to 3D models, 3D modeling? Well, my first uh, brush with 3D was a long time ago. And, um, you know, as I said uh, earlier, you know, I'm a mechanical engineer. Mm -hmm. and we were doing some amount of um, uh, research, if you may. On, on what is called the finite element analysis. So I mean, an arcane kind of a topic there, but uh, you know, the idea there is you would uh, you would do you you do a three D model of like okay. a machine part, or in in my case, you know, I was doing like disc brakes, uh, you know, for a for a huge dump truck, you know, the ones that kind of you know used in uh, mining and things like that. Mm -hmm. And so uh, to be able to kind of you, you create a three D model and you you. Uh, you know, you kind of set the material on it, actual physical mm -hmm. properties, and stress it, and see where it fails and things like that. So that is that was my brush with 3D mm -hmm. back when I'd started, and uh, the tools then were pretty decent. You know, AutoCAD, um, uh, right? But 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 I mean, compute was not all that great back. You know, I'm talking 15 years, 15, 20 years right. ago. Uh, so that's where I started with 3D. But I should say, you know, since then I haven't actually. Uh, been doing a lot with 3D over time, but off late in the last three to four years, you know, given the nature of work that I do here at Cloudinary, 3D is a very important, uh, you know, format for us, important 
you know, we call it a media type for us. Yeah. You know, along with videos and things like that. So, so now it's, uh, uh, you know, I do a fair, fair amount of work with 3D. Well, perfect transition into you said formats, and um, obviously you're you're doing an entire lesson on 3D formats that you're gonna go in depth. But real quick, give us a very short kind of teaser of some formats, some 3D formats people should be aware of. Totally, and you know, given uh, you know how it is today uh, with uh, with 3D being, especially with your AR kind of experiences, the metaverse, right? The yeah. metaverse, right? And you know, being so popular. Uh, the most exciting formats right now are what are called the, uh, let's say, web slash, uh, you know, open source, uh, open formats like mm -hmm. GLTF, GLB, um, which, uh, you know, I, I just kind of mentioned two different formats. There's some variations within those. Uh, so those those are pretty exciting as it stands right now. Um, you know, you, you, many tools support it, so you're not tied to a particular tool. And these are open source format. formats? So these are, not... yeah. They're not tied to a company. They're more of a standard. They're more of a standard, and companies are kind of gravitating towards it. And and the reason, at least mm. you know, from my view, why it seems to be interesting is this is like back in the day when you had uh, browsers and browsers supporting JavaScript. You know, every browser used to have its own yeah. little way of doing things. Right. And interoperability was a big challenge. I remember those days. Yeah. Right. And so that 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 is that is where three D is or has been for some time. Got and uh, you know, these formats kind of open it up you know, pretty wide. So that, 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 that is pretty exciting. It should, it should lead to a lot more applications along the way. So these are formats that will work natively in a browser or there are they more production formats? These are uh, the great question. I mean, these are not quite production formats. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, you use different tools for your actual production, but right. this is meant for, uh, you know, consumption, for, for, viewing, for, consumption. for viewing, you know, those kinds of things. Yeah. So these work on browsers, these work, you know, th th there, there are many libraries out there to kind of put it in your app if you wanted to, things right. of that nature. Yeah. Right, right, right. Definitely. So what's, uh, in, in your own opinion, what's the future of 3D models? Where do you see it? Is it these, th these open formats, the future? I think it's going to be the open formats um, and, uh, and and the open formats, you know, uh, doing more in terms of what they support. Mm -hmm. um, you know, things like animations are supported in, in the open formats today, but, um, you know, you, you, you know, it, it, it could go a long way in terms of what what else can be supported, for example, yeah. uh, or, the, or, the, or the rich and the depth of, uh, you know, things uh, that could be supported within these formats. So that is one. And like I said, it's going to be a lot of, you know, this opens up, um, you know, many different applications that, mm -hmm. that, that you could do. Um, another thing that is also interesting in, in the whole 3D space is, uh, you know, you, you mentioned production formats and production tools. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. the time it takes to kind of, you know, put together a 3D, a good 3D model uh, uh, is, is quite a bit. And, and so there are expenses. So the other interesting thing is, uh, you know, with sensors, with, uh, uh, you know, different cameras and IR and LiDAR, you know, those kinds mm -hmm. of technologies that are out there i also see uh you know the production side of things becoming uh in, in you know the way i look at it a little bit more democratized right and there are right. already many interesting ai and stuff that are being you know brought into play to be able to create a, a 3d model quickly now these are not things maybe you, you would use in a game for example but you know if you're looking at things like e-commerce or you know whatever it might be mm -hmm. where you, you know you, you need a model and uh, a good enough model you know the, these kinds of tools technologies and uh you know changes are going to be pretty interesting and but the beautiful all, thing is people are going to be able to learn all about this in your lesson so they can check it out check out the intro to 3d models uh lesson in the cloudinary bootcamp on headlesscreator.com naveen thank you so much it's been a pleasure speaking with you can't wait to to watch your um lesson uh, if people want to get a hold of you the email you have there is the best way yeah that would be the that would be the best way naveen at cloudinary.com you'd Excellent. be able to read me there Naveen, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Marcelo. Looking forward to it. And thanks to the rest of you. I hope you enjoyed uh, this interview with Naveen. I know I certainly did. And as always, if you want to get a hold of me, right there, Marcelo at headlesscreator.com. So have a great one, everybody. Mm -hmm.